Shalom, shalom. First things first, I want to give all honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakaka, Dash, Rakati Yahweh, Rakati Yahushai, Rakati Yahweh, Rakati Yahushai, Rakati Yahweh, Rakati Yahushai, Bashem, Rakaka, Dash. I want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, for allowing us to do this, have this word, do these videos, to have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that He's given to us through the Spirit. All right, and He's um. He's coming back to us, man. We're 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 in a, we're in such a beautiful time, you know. We always catch hell, but I think brothers will always remember the hell's not equal to the great the greatness that we we're receiving right now. We've been catching hell for hundreds of years, but nothing has come close to us getting as much knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Even if even in the time of back then in the prophets, that's why the apostles say that the men now no more than the men back then and that's that's a that's a heavy saying to be able to say but but those that are in the know in the spirit is dealing with you that's not a heavy saying because it's true because we're living in the times where these prophecies are actually coming to pass back then they weren't coming to pass because they were for many days to come so now we're in those days and we're in those times which is um we're built for it okay if you're here right now and you're in this truth and um, hopefully we endure to the end. We're built for it. The Lord made us to endure the hell that we're going through, and 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 to to endure everything that we're we're we're, we're um, experiencing because it's for our benefit. All right. Just like a trainer or a boxer, just like Muhammad, one of Muhammad Ali's greatest sayings, it says that he hated every day of training, but he knew that he had to do it because he would live the rest of his life a champion. Okay. So we're getting ready to live the rest of our days as as uh, hopeful if we're the hopeful elect and we make it, we're gonna live the rest of our days as 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 champions, man. champions for this truth's sake. So let's jump right into it. You know, I just wanted to set the tone. This right here is a UFO map, okay? Uh, this is a UFO map sighting map that I wanna I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to this map, but I I wanted to let you brothers know that. Um, I found this map sighting. It's uh, you can zoom in, and you can go to every sighting of UFOs in in Babylon. But that's not what I want to start off with. What I want to start off with is this video right here. Abaratazad don't strike me. Uh, either way, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna let it play because it's such a, a a heavy video. I hope you all can enjoy. This is a UFO sighting, and that's from uh, somebody. Looks like they posted it relatively soon or, or relatively uh recent i'm gonna play this video and then i'm gonna stop it where i need to stop it at uh wherever the spirit allows me to stop it at and then i'm gonna go into some scriptures but this is a uh gms closer look or it might just be another title i'm gonna see how the spirit has me title it but uh please enjoy we're living in beautiful times uh the chariots are showing themselves more and more I really haven't done a chariot video in a while, but the spirit allowed me to do it today. So, uh, Abu Ratazan, this is edifying for you, Akin. Let's go. Okay, so this guy is a he's a UFO. Uh, he does a lot of UFO videos, but somebody posted this video on his Facebook. I, I fast forwarded it. It's spiritual, you know, one uh, almost a one four four, but um. I, I posted this video, or he posted the video after somebody posted it on his Facebook. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Space Station, here it is. Just incredible. Check this out. You're going to see the object come into the field of view multiple times from multiple different angles. I put it in slow motion. Look at it right there. Unbelievable. See it at the 2 o'clock position? It, it also has the capability to almost look like a cloud. Look at it down here by the astronaut. See? Foot. So this chariot literally mimics it in the same cleanness as a cloud. What should you, what, what should come to your mind is the scriptures. The clouds of heaven. Who maketh the cloud, he rideth on, maketh his clouds the chariots, man. Okay, who rises upon the winds, man? So, so the, this right here, he's saying something that he's not even he can't tie two and two together because the spirit's not opening up his eyes. He's doing UFOs, he does UFOs, 
but he made a saying that ties directly into the scriptures. He didn't even realize it. Look below his boots and you can see it moving slightly to the right. Looks like a cloud from up here and probably from the incredible. Check this and out. I'm going to tell you incredible. something. Look. Check this out. And the video starts around 144. Object come into the field of view multiple times from multiple different angles. I put it in slow motion. Look at it right there. Unbelievable. See it at the 2 o'clock position? It, it also has the capability to almost look like a cloud. Look at it down here by the astronaut's foot. Look below his boots and you can see it moving slightly to the right. Looks like a cloud. From up here, and probably from the ground, too. Look. Here it is over here. Look Sorry. how much it looked like a cloud, man. Let's go back just a little bit. When it came into view. Here, and probably from the ground. Look, when it came into view here, if you if you brothers can see, I, I Lord willing, I'll try to zoom in. It looks just like a cloud. You would think that just it's just a cloud. But it's actually a chariot, man. And, I, and this the only reason I'm posting this video is because of the, I mean... It's it's so close. You don't get to see them, but watch what happens to the chair. It's going to go down towards planet Earth. Here it is over here. It's hard to miss. Just incredible. Same exact object. You can see it drifting along with the International Space Station. And that's the same location. It looks like Northern Africa, maybe Southern Spain. And what's in Northern Africa? Israel. Israel's right here. If I'm not mistaken, let me let me not. It said Northern Africa, so either way, it's 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 by that area. Location above the Earth. Incredible. Never seen anything quite like it. We've seen different things from the space station's cameras, but I've never seen anything this clear. This is very obvious. It's an obvious craft. Look at that. Comes right up and look. It almost looks like a like a you know how manta rays fly like manta rays go in the ocean. It moves like somewhat like a manta ray. You know, it's got the same body type of style, but at the end of the day, you you can barely notice it once it flips on its top because it it molds in with the clouds, man. And is watching the astronaut. Look right that. there. That's what I needed. There's that's what I needed top. him to say. Look at that watching the astronaut Look it says that it's watching the astronaut okay it's watching remember that part that. there's a still image i tried to adjust the the lighting and and put it in different filters you can see it there in a negative format x-ray format and it's definitely there no doubt about it and i've never seen one this close um, this clear, you can actually see features on this thing, uh, things that look like windows, uh, different types of, con you know, contours. Uh, it's just, just amazing. Here it is off in the distance as it looked like it was drifting away. Here it is coming up close again, different angle. You can see it kind of turns on its side. It looks like a, 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 a chip. I don't know. It's, it's just strange, you know, when... You've never seen anything like it. It's hard to, to recognize it or, or compare it with anything you've ever seen because you've never seen anything like it. See how it blends in with the cloud? Look at that. If you didn't know it was there, you probably wouldn't know it was there. Now, here it is coming up again. You can see different features. Let me pause it real quick. See some features on the, the side of this thing. Looks like a big intake or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think outside the box here, but... That is a definite craft of some sort following the space station. Gamma test is simply testing the light in the photograph, and this thing does react to light. You can see it there reacting. When I adjust the gamma correction, if it didn't react, it wouldn't be there. So that's definitely in the photograph, 100%. So excellent observation, guys. Here it is in negative format. This is from the video sent in by Nopal Kim. Here it is in x-ray format, slowly moving with the International Space Station as an astronaut's out doing a walk, doing some sort of a repair. Just incredible. There's a close-up view, the best I could get. All right, so um, like it says, that's uh, 
beautiful footage, but let's jump right into the scriptures and uh, let's jump into the lesson. This is the book of, let's go to Proverbs 15 and 3. So I think I'm going to title this, The UFOs Are Watching America or Esau. The, U, the UFOs are watching Esau, okay, because they are, man. They're the ones that's going to uh, finish the work that the missiles don't get. Okay, so this is Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Okay, every place. What 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 was what does the word every place mean? Ma kwa ma kwa wam ma kwa wam. It says standing place, place, standing place, station. Wow. What is what is what is the name? Isn't it called the international? That's head. I I. Let's let's look it up. Look. International Space Station. That's not a coincidence. It was on the ISS, which is International Space Station, and we go right here to the definition of of a place. It says standing, station, post, office, place place of human abode the 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 so anywhere a human lives and, and, and can dwell the eyes of the lord can watch it it can the eyes of the lord can go anywhere they can go places that men cannot go but anywhere a human goes the eyes of the lord are there they go deep into the ground they're there they go deep into the ocean they're there if they climb up to space as far as they can go beyond the van island belt or or under the van island belt they're there. Standing place, station, post, office, city, land, region, place, local, spot, space, room, distant, region, quarter, direction, give place to instead of. So the eyes of the Lord are upon everywhere men can dwell. Okay? It says the eyes of the Lord are in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. Because right now, Esau ain't doing no good up there, man. Okay? Esau's standing in his space station and doing all that he so-called is doing. He's not doing good up there, man. That's not for no benefit because that goes into the, the um, where it says he should set his nest among the stars. Because the word nest goes into what? Weapons. Okay? A, a weapon system. So the, the ISS secret... The secret purpose of it is a weapon station. We don't know how many missiles, how many kind of laser weapons, who knows what they have on those that, that international space station. They ain't up there just conducting tests. Come on, you spending all that money to con conduct some scientific tests and see how algae grows in space? No. Weapons, okay? That's, a, that's like a, a battle cruiser in space. That's why Trump was talking about the space force. All they got to do is be like, hey, we've already had weapons on the ISS. Here you go. This is a part of the Space Force. But here or there, they're going to be knocked off, man. That's like fighting war with, with toothpicks. It ain't going to last, man. You're gonna. That's like Esau's fighting a war with toothpicks. Not spears, toothpicks, man. It's not going to work. So that's what you're seeing happening right now. Esau's taking pride in his, in his, in his, uh, in his, fragile 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 works man they're not like the the space right here you see this craft solid man like it says if esau's messing with it doing some cgi either way these chariots are watching esau man okay they're watching esau close they're out there when he's in space when he's at the bottom of the ocean they wait because they're waiting too just like we wait on yabashi Shah, these these chariots these angels are waiting also because they're going to get down, man. This is verse 4. It says, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverse, perverseness therein is a branch, is a breach in the spirit. So Esau's got a breach in the spirit because he's not he's not set up to be the people. He has a, a lying tongue. He has mischievous ways. So we set for destruction, man. All right. Let me read that one more time. It says, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding evil and good. So you know where we got to jump to. 
This is Amos 9 and verse 8. It says, Amos 9 and 8, it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. I will destroy it from the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Yaquah, Jacob, saith the Lord. So the Most High said he's watching Esau, man. He's keeping an eye on him. This man's the devil. You got you to gotta keep four eyes on this man. He'll do some things that you never, <laughs> you got to watch him. So that's, that's the layman's of, of what I'm saying. This is Hebrews 4 and verse 13. It says, neither is there any creature that is not manifested in his sight. See that? There's no creature that is not manifested in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. So these, these angels see everything. That's why they're able to discern who is who. They know it don't matter if you hide yourself in generations. Esau has hid himself among these nations. Prime example, Herod, man. Herod was Esau hiding himself. He, I mean, it's not hiding because we knew that he his line was from um, the Edomite line. Okay? But what we're saying here is that he, you can't hide yourself, man. Even if you want to hide yourself in a space station or that's why it says, though he dig, dig his way into hell, then shall my hand take him. So there's no way that Esau can hide that the Lord cannot go and take him, man. All right? And that's a beautiful thing. It says for the um, 13, it says, neither, neither is there any creature that is not manifested in the sight, but all things are naked and open unto his eyes, unto the eyes of him whom we have to do. All right. So now let's jump right here. This is the book of, um, let's go Job 28 and 24. I don't want to make I don't want to make this long because the video says itself. This is uh it says for he looketh to the ends of the earth and seeth under the whole heaven. Right here, under the whole heavens. That's what this chariot is is in the heavens. It's it, it, it's uh it's in the waters, the Shemayim. All right? The waters, man. The the chariots can be out there, man. That's why it looks like they're floating. Just like you in the water. It looks like you're floating in the water because that's that the chemical makeup of water is out in space. All right. It's out in space and it's in its free form. It's not been condensed to its physical form. That's why you, you water can be in vapors, solid and a um, in a gas. OK, water has the ability to be in gas form, vapors or um, solid. OK. That's where you get ice. Ice is water in its solid form. Just like you see stones, stones can be in, in, in many different uh, fashions. This is Job 34 and verse 21. It's a lot here. This is Job 34 and verse 21. And I'm going to close on this right here. This is Job 34 and verse 21. It says, for the eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his doing, his going. That's why Job said here now in this. <coughs> why did Satan say this? Now with all the scriptures that I read, now this will mean more to you. <coughs> or it's edifying to bring it out a little bit more. This is Job 1 and 7. And the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered and said from going to and fro in the earth. And from walking up and down in it. So Satan, Satan was Satan was quoting scriptures too. When how was Satan quoting scriptures? Right here, it's the Second Chronicles, sixteen, and verse nine. It says, "For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro through the whole earth, the angels." Okay, so that's how you know Satan was working for the Most High because he quoted. Something that was already previously said. Because Satan know the scriptures, man. So back in 2 Chronicles 16 and 9, it says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. That's why it says he's going to know, the angels know who to separate. The angels know who to save, man. That's why it says the reapers, the reapers are going to separate the tares from the wheat. Okay? Because we don't have that ability to, to, to have that discernment. 
and says to show himself strong on the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from hence thou shalt have wars. And he was speaking to Israel. All right. So uh, Abarathazad is edifying. And with that, I'm going to give all honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakar Kadash, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Bashem Rakar Kadash. Hope, Lord willing, this is edifying and uh, boost, boost your faith, man, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. It's close, man. We're going to see some great and beautiful things coming to the nation of Israel, the elect first and foremost, and then following in the, is the tribes, man. You know, so the Lord loves us, man. And he's given us to show us that we, we believed when we didn't see these things. So when they come to pass, it's to boost our faith even more. Shalom.